Hello and welcome to your fifth WX Python tutorial. In the last tutorial we covered adding another button and then also the concept of panels. So if you don't recall where we left off, I'll bring up the example that we left off on. So we had a couple of buttons. The edit button is doing nothing for us. We have a file and exit. And then we, had, we made a panel that was just a basic text box. So now uh, what I'd like to do in this tutorial is cover some more uh, user input and then have maybe some dynamic uh, stuff based on that user input. So what I'm going to do is let's put this up a little bit and right below the definition of our um, window information, we're going to start adding in this stuff. So what we're going to say, like let's say uh, we want to have just a yes or no um, box pop up for these people and we want to log whether they say yes or no. So a simple yes no uh, is as following. So I'm going to say uh, yes no box equals, and you need to do wx dot message dialog. Um, it's going to have no parent, so none. And then in the second parameter you say uh, what you want the message to say. In this case, we're going to have uh, it ask, do you enjoy WX Python? In the next parameter, you give the title of that little box window thing. And so that's just going to be question. And then in the final parameter, you specify what kind of message dialog it is. And in this case, it's going to be a yes, no uh, dialog that just comes with WX Python. So it knows like what kind of button to put at the bottom of it. So that's our yes, no box. Now we're going to say uh, yes, no answer because we want to store whatever they say. So yes, no answer is going to be equal to yes, no box dot uh, show modal. And so basically that's just going to say like uh, what what was the answer here like that's the modal so it's going to store in this yes no answer variable uh, whether or not or what the answer was. And then finally whenever they finish this the next step is just going to be check uh, or uh, yes no box dot destroy. We're going to just annihilate it. So now what it's going to do is we're not doing anything with it yet but if they it, we are going to store whatever they answer here. So we'll save that, we'll run it and hopefully we didn't screw anything up and so yeah you see here this little window comes up and it's a question. Do you enjoy WX Python? And of course we do so I hit yes and then pops up our epic window. So obviously pretty basic stuff so far um, nothing really changed, but we did at least store that and we got that message pop up. So pretty cool, but let's make it even cooler. Let's say before uh, this happens, let's do another event. And let's say we want it to um, pick up your name. So we'll do, uh, we'll call this name box equals wx.text entry dialog. Uh, again, there's no parent to this, and we're going to have it ask what is your name for the second parameter that's what like the question is going to be um, then you've got the title kind of like the other one was and the title to this is just going to be welcome um, and then finally the fourth parameter is um, kind of like an HTML you've got default text in a text box so you can leave it blank or you can say like I'm just going to put name in there and so whenever the user goes there, like it's kind of like what's already in the box and it can help guide people as to what to type. Even though it says like, what is your name? It can help them, you know, type it in. So then when someone en enters their name, um, that box is going to have uh, an okay or a cancel. And so if they hit cancel, then we don't really want to do anything, but if they hit OK, then we want to store uh, the value that they put in here. So to do that, we'll just have a simple if statement and we'll say if uh, namebox.showModal, as in if the mode that the user picks 
um, based on these buttons is a WX period ID OK is in. If the mode that they chose is an OK button, then what we want to do is let's go ahead and store that username um, in the variable username. And what we're going to store there is going to be the value. And the way you do that is just name box get value. So we want to pull whatever information that they put in that little box. We want to pull that and store it in username. So with that, let's save that and uh, we'll run it. And we'll see the first message that pops up, what's your name? And we'll I'll put my name in there for Harrison. Of course, I like uh, WX Python. And then here's our window again that we've been working on. So let's exit this. And so let's make it a little bit more dynamic. Let's make this program a bit friendlier. So with that username, uh, we can come down here and we can do self.set title. Right now it just says welcome, but let's have it say welcome space plus uh, username. So now it'll like actually call you by your name. So what we'll do now, we'll save that, we'll run it. And now it says, what is your name? Our name, my name is Harrison. Of course I enjoy Python. And now the window says, welcome Harrison. Well, that's a lot more friendly. I enjoy the program more already. So let's hit exit. And now that we've done this, like right, we've given this little entry, the name box entry, some a little bit of uh, dynamics. So that leaves this yes, no button. We're not actually doing anything with this button, right? We've got the answer, the yes, no answer, and we've gotten rid of it. So we do have already have it stored in a variable, but we're not actually doing anything with that variable. So let's do something with that variable. I think what we should do is let's uh, put it down here. Right before we call the username, let's do a quick little check. And let's say, let's do if um, yes, no, answer equals um, WX ID no. So if that answer is equal to the no button, then let's redefine username to be a little more applicable towards our user. And we'll just change their name to loser. So now when we save this and run it, up pops name. What's your name? My name's Harrison. Do I enjoy Python? Let's say I'm a loser and I hit no. Now our window says, welcome loser. But now let's say I'm back to regular me and I say my name is Harrison. And of course I enjoy WX Python. Now the window is more friendly to me. It says, welcome Harrison. We'll exit that. So those are the basics of text input, button input, and then also making your program a bit more dynamic based on the user's input. Obviously, we'll be getting way more into depth than that, but um, those are the basics. So, as always, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, please do subscribe, and until next time.